Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, so I grew up Christian and um, grew up in the Baptist church. And uh, something that always stuck with me, and I want to hear your opinion on this, um, something that always bothered me really was the understanding that I had an unfair advantage over many people in the world to hear the word of God, um, like Muslims, for example. Um, do they have the chance to hear the word of God? Yes. Technically, yes. Um, but if we're get, being practical, how many Muslims that were born into a Muslim family will convert to Christianity? And when I read the Bible and understand God as an, and I don't know if you would agree with this, that he is a fair, just, loving God, and he wants as many people to be in heaven with him, it's hard to wrap my brain around this concept that they will not go to heaven because of basically the family that they were born into. And I think Christians really do not talk on this subject. Are you a Christian? Well, I grew up Christian, so I'm Are you a Christian? This. Why is this relevant? Are you a Christian? What would you define as a Christian? Really? Well, I mean, people... Is this what we're so going to do? Okay. Do you believe in God? I believe in God, yes. I believe in God. Okay. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the second person of the Godhead who died and rose again on the cross? Yes. Okay. Uh, have you come to the point in your life where you realized you were going to hell for eternity and you had to turn to Jesus Christ to save you from your sins without which you would go to hell when you die? Yes. Well, then you're a Christian. Okay. Okay. Your analysis is not a biblical one. Okay. But I mean, it's okay. analysis nonetheless. People, people have the light of creation and, um, you know, um, God is not going to condemn condemn anyone unfairly. No one is going to be condemned for what they did not know. People will be condemned for what they did know. Okay? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much my answer. I just don't know how vague or specific that can be. But, I mean, yeah, that's well, pretty much... Should, what you should say to them is, then what's your excuse when you've heard about Jesus Christ and you won't bow the knee? What's your excuse? And they're going to, well, uh, 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 this is, all, the, all this is, is a, uh, they're attempting to throw a conundrum down at your feet. <laughs> well, these people on a remote island somewhere, they didn't hear about Jesus, or the only reason why you're a Christian is because you grew up in a certain place. So, so what? And that's not what okay. the Bible says. That's, the that's Bible not. Bible says God puts oh. people in their times and their places of habitation so they may seek him. Yeah, God puts everyone in their time and place so that they will seek him. How okay. how is it that how, how is it that how is it that Christianity is growing in China? How'd that happen? And, and by the way, what makes you think there's more Christians in America than there are in some Islamic country? No. There may be. I'm just saying I, I obviously We're think that about I have real Christ, real Christians. Yeah, well, as opposed to professing profess Christianity. You think that there are more know? How do you know that they're all the people in Islamic countries who profess Christianity are not true Christians, whereas many of the people in a, a Western country who profess Christianity are not, they're just cultural, culturally Christian. They're not actual Christians. All I know is myself and my own, all, I, all I can test for is myself. What I just said to be true, that in fact, there's more Christians in certain countries than others. Okay. Well, I'm, then I wasn't talking about those. I was talking about the one instance. I said, for instance, Muslims. How long? How long have you been a Christian? I grew up Christian. I, I mean, I'm 25, so my whole life. Do you have a Bible? Yes. What translation? Um, I think like New King James. I'm not sure. What's the fifth book in the New Testament? Exodus. What's the fifth book in the New Testament? What's the sixth book? Uh, I'd like an answer to the question. <laughs> so no. you're a Christian Matthew, since Mark, you're a child and you John, don't. Exodus. Uh, Matthew, I Mark, Luke, John, Exodus. 
What, does that really defer someone's knowledge of the Bible because they can't remember? Yeah. How, what, I just want to like? know what's the what's the fifth book in the New Testament? Are you lying? You see, I have I have a simple way of smoking out people who are lying to me about being Christian. About what? Because if you were a Christian and you've been so for a long time, you would have a a certain basic familiarity with with the Bible. You you couldn't even answer a question that a Sunday school child could answer. Yeah, I haven't read the Bible in a while. Yeah, and so you're you're dumbfounded by this question. You you couldn't even answer the simplest question. Oh, it's Acts. The Bible. Acts. Yeah. If 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 you if you really are a Christian, then you need to uh, be reading your Bible every day, and then you'll be equipped to answer these people when they ask, "What is the hope within you?" Okay. These people are ignorant, they're blinded, they're these deceived, people. and there's, and yeah, these people, people who object to uh, what's going to happen on Judgment Day. I think that's kind of derailing from the topic. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what do you mean? These I'm people? talking about the people that you are, who confront you saying, it's not fair that certain people haven't heard about No Jesus. one confronted what's me gonna... saying that. No one confronted me saying that. I said that's something that I've always thought about throughout my life and learning about the Bible and God, it's something that has stuck with me. Well, if, you, if you've been learning about the Bible, how come you don't even know what the fifth book in the New Testament is? I forgot. If you're, if you're a Christian I'll man, be, how I'll come you're such a hypocrite? How Can you answer that? How yeah. You don't reflect the Bible well, nor do you reflect God's word well. I don't reflect the Bible? How's no, that? I don't think you're a man of God. The way that you speak to people, the way that you talk to people, no. the how things that you say... You? I mean, uh, I can do you go think, on and on do think, forever. Do you, do I don't you think, think you're a good reflection you, of the do Bible. You think if I, do you think if I told somebody that they're a liar and they're in rebellion oh. against God and they're going to hell, do you think that's on call for? Oh. Okay, I'm done. Bye. Do you think, do you, uh, uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, we smoked her out. Bye-bye. It is. Yeah. That what, that's what we call somebody who is an atheist pretending to be a Christian in order to smuggle in an objection to the biblical doctrine of salvation. Darth, okay? if you called people of rotting corpses in whitewashed tombs, I think that's pretty unchristian of you. Yeah. Yeah. Am I more rough around the edges than other people? Yeah. You bet your bippy I am. And for good reason. Because I'm dealing with people who are in your face liars to me and scumbags. Okay, and Jesus called out the Pharisees and the Sadducees publicly. He called them rotting corpses and white men with tombs. He called he called them dogs. He called them wolves publicly. Okay, I'm not saying we should gratuitously insult people, but insults per se are not off limits, especially if the insult actually has a basis in fact. Right? I love how she ran. Wow, no, she did run run because. I was exposing the fact that she was not a Christian. She was lying. Okay? She was lying. Anyone, does anyone in here believe that she was a Christian? No. She, she didn't even know the fifth book of the Testament, and the, the New Testament, and then she sat there and said, well, I, I, I forgot. And she probably looked it up, and then she was confusing uh, certain books in the Old Testament with the New Testament. Like, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Exodus? I mean, really? Just a second book. Oh, she saw you reaching. It, it didn't take me long to smoke her out that she was a fake. Right? Why not just come out and just say, yeah, I'm not a Christian. I don't believe the Bible. And I think it's unfair that people who haven't heard about Jesus might go to hell. Okay? No. She just wants to pretend like, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian and I'm troubled by this. How dumb do they think we are? Yeah, she, she just says that. She just say. She just says that crap just to give her some some sort of credibility in what she's saying, thinking that, um, her coming off as a Christian is going to give her some sort of credibility in her words. She and is. She is just, she's calling me a hypocrite the whole time. She's lying about being a Christian. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Wow. She came right Being back. a hypocrite while calling someone else a hypocrite, that's hilarious. It is hilarious because she's a, she's the true one that's a hypocrite, and she ran away. No, no have, you, have you read uh, uh, Matthew 7? Have you read Matthew 7? Don't judge. Don't judge. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was funny. 
Oh, it's only Jay Adams, who was a uh, a great Bible teacher, um, disagree with him on some things. He said these kind of people suffer from placosis, and placosis is just simply only knowing the Bible through reading a verse on a plaque. By the way, did you get that Tom Rabbit? 